What up, C6 fam? Thank y'all. How's it going? Uh, I, I'm driving this cowboy. He's letting me drive a string today. I said, first she said, do you want to go into town with me? I said, yeah, that's great. I need to get some materials for a job I'm on. So we have to take my truck. I said, and oh, well, she said, I want to drive. She said, okay. She goes, but can I drive? My go for it, cowgirl. <laughs> Drive this big old truck. Yeah, I can do it. So, so today but, but, this is on our food for thought section and but, subscribe, sure, subscribe, like subscribe, it, subscribe, comment. Subscribe, we like, want your comment. comments. We want feedback. Like, we want to make sure we're bringing you what you want to see and what you want to hear about. What your thoughts are about what we're talking about today? We're talking about confrontation, healthy conflict, and resolving things because I find in life people would rather just never talk to somebody again and yet stir stuff up around them or post about them or say something ugly instead of dealing with the conflict at hand directly with the person so that's kind of the gist of what we're going to be talking about today and a little bit just to touch on offense we're going to do a separate video on that but um, this is this is also in our book and once our book does actually publish we're still in the writing phases of perfecting it and once we publish it you're definitely going to want to get it but you want to subscribe for now so you know more about us before that happens right baby that's right Yes. Subscribe. Subscribe. So, subscribe. I can drive a dually, and I do have my seatbelt on. Just oh, for those you, of you, do you, know you what? not? I don't have my seatbelt on. Let him get his seatbelt on. I do wear a seatbelt. I just wear it underneath my boobs. I know that's not the appropriate way. I just cannot stand that piercing into my chest. So don't think sometimes well, we have our seatbelts on and y'all can't see them. I always, I always have my seatbelt. Which I, I did have my seatbelt on, and then we hopped. I hopped out to get the mail. Yeah. Because I ordered right. some. Uh, I'm these, like, you always wear your seatbelt. I ordered these cool headbands for the boys. Yeah. Because they love headbands. They love headbands, so we're so, getting a new brand. We're yeah. excited. But um, you know, thinking about conflict. So here's the thing. I don't know anyone that really likes going around fighting with people or having problems or drama. Now, there may be people that they're just drawn to drama or they are the drama. Sometimes people don't even know they are the drama. Which I, I mean, I'm just going to interject on that is, no, there are people. I think there are lots of people out there that like, it. That like drama, conflict. I can't believe and, and they don't... And when they're not in conflict or drama, they don't know how to act. Well, so, and I think they're unhealth it's an unhealthy way of uh, being, uh, and they don't know it's unhealthy. Right, right. But I'm I saying, know even, when they're at peace, they're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Even when I first met you, you did not like drama, but you had lived around so much drama for so long, you almost didn't know how to be at peace. Yeah. No, Is no, that no. a yeah. wrong statement? No, no, that's right. It, you had to learn it's like how peace, to be just peace, peaceful because we, peace don't, freaks we, you don't, out. we don't have that. You know what I'm saying? Because I can say that whenever nothing's, whenever there's not anything going on, you're like, what? What's going on? <laughs> right, right, right. I, 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 I noticed that with you. It was like you had to learn how not to be at odds with someone. Because you had lived in a lifestyle where people were at odds with each other a lot. Yeah. Is that, I guess that's a way to say it. Okay, so I think sometimes people have either, they create drama or they've lived in controversy so long or they run from it. Because they, not run from drama because I run from drama. But they run from having a healthy conflict because they've never been taught how to have healthy confrontation. Because confrontation is a part of life and 
I just feel that if you don't learn how to work through things with people, you're going to have a lot of broken relationships and friendships that could be really great if you could work through them or even your marriage if you let if you let things go I kind of call it sweeping it under the rug and you don't deal with the problem it creeps it has a way of creeping back up don't you agree oh, absolutely. if it's not dealt with and put to bed it's going to come back so you've got and Shay can tell you I do I like conflict no I, I'm a very non-confrontational person but if something needs to be dealt with because I'm a strong leader you don't and, mind and because I if I have a conflict with someone I value the relationship so I want to say hey what's wrong why is why are you upset what's going on I want to deal with it or hey you can't treat me that way that's not okay I'm not going to do that with people that are not important in my life because I don't want to go around having conflicts with people that don't matter in my life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I'm not going to go around having a conflict just because somebody irritated me. It's not my job to fix everybody. And Shay and I have talked a lot about this because there are a lot of people out there that you can feel need fixing. And you can think, I need to straighten them out. Like, I need to tell them. But that's not our job. And so, I think being good at knowing the difference in, hey, I've been friends with this person a long time. I want to figure this out. Or maybe it's somebody that needs to leave your life. Then you don't want to figure it out. But when you do care enough about the relationship, you do need to have the confidence. Absolutely, and I think that, which, you know, we, we talk about, you know, circles and your friends and, um, you know. And that's I constantly guess, changing. Right, and which, really, which person you want to have that healthy conflict right. with. Well, I think that, you know, like, say you're watching this video and you're the person that caused the conflict. I mean, you need, I think that's, that's a... And this is where I struggle so I can talk about this is you need to be able to receive from the person you care about what they're trying to say you know if their feelings are hurt if they're upset about something um, because I mean I know I struggle at this if somebody comes to me with a problem they have with me if something that I've done or said then I, a lot of times I get defensive and I've had to grow and mature through this to know that's that's not healthy yeah, to be defensive and offended to be defensive right. about what they're saying because right. I do that too get defensive and offended right you gotta right. let your offense down and your defense down and for sure you know it's really you know you know you've I, matured and grown when you can our do world that. today well, I've said this a lot everyone's offended about everything that everyone says and so I just think that you just can't walk around in a spirit of offense. Right. I mean, it's just not healthy. It's not it's healthy, not for, healthy your, for you. It's not healthy yeah. for your mind, yeah. and it's not healthy for your body. Yeah. You know, if you feel offended all the time, it's not good for you. You know, and, and the way that you think and the way that you're going to do life with other people, if you're just walking around offended all the time, right. then you're going to be in constant conflict. That's true. And, like, you and, don't... And not good conflict. Yeah. It's going to be unhealthy What's, conflict. But I think being the big enough person, because this is what Shay's gotten good at, is being the big enough person to say, hey, I messed up, but you know what? I love you, and I want us to work, so I can say I'm sorry, and I'm going to work on that. I'm not going to do that again. Let's, let's figure this out, and I have to do that, too. He's wrong a lot more than me. <laughs> 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 that's, that's true. I'm wrong a lot. I'm, so, I'm wrong a lot. <laughs> so, 
having that healthy conflict in marriage, in family, with friendships, and then being aware. I think sometimes people are unaware of not letting, uh, how do I say this? I think people are so easily influenced and if I, I saw it like this, if you didn't see it with your eyes or hear it with your ears or it happened directly to you, why are you mad? Or why are you letting it affect your relationship with somebody else? And I've said this before on another, just a vlog, but you know, people in general, there's one group of people that are just going to like you no matter what. They just love you. And then there's, and that's a very small group. Then there's a group of people that they like you, but they can let other people talk them out of liking you. And then there's a group of people that just flat out don't like you. It doesn't matter what you do. Maybe you have a personality conflict or maybe they just don't like you because of the clothes you wear or the car you drive or whatever, your way of being, doing life. So stop worrying about what anybody thinks about you because there are two groups of people that are gonna end up not liking you no matter what. It's a small group that genuinely love you unconditionally no matter what you do and cannot be talked out of not liking you. Now here's how I want to live life personally. I don't want to let other people, first of all I don't want people to come feel comfortable and I call it stirring the pot to call me and stir the pot up saying this person did da 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 to this and I heard her say this and I heard her did this and she hurt my feelings and get me mad. I don't even want to hear it. I don't really have people that do this with me because they know I shut them down. Think about it. People don't call and tell me stuff about other people. Yeah. I oftentimes don't even know what's going on. Now, I see their post on Facebook, and then I'm like, what's going on? Because you can tell so much about people's hearts just from their social media. And then people like take, that's a whole, that's a whole nother kitten caboodle we can talk about on another day, but I want to be the kind of woman that nobody's comfortable to talk about somebody else to me, and I'm definitely not going to be influenced by what they're trying to tell me about somebody that I like or I care about. This is one reason I absolutely love and adore my best friend, Kelly McCarroll. I can tell you nobody's going to be comfortable to talk about me to her. And if they do, she's going to shut them down within a matter of 20 seconds of what they're saying. So that's when you know you have a true loyal friend. But what I want to be is that's what I want to be about anyone that's in my sphere. Anyone that I love. I don't want people comfortable to stir that up. So that being said, the question at hand is why are we as people so comfortable to talk about other people or call our girlfriend to say she did this, she did that, she's this, she's that, but yet we're not comfortable to call the person who actually offended us or whoever and say, hey girl, you hurt my feelings. Like I thought we were friends. And this is something, over the last five years, actually about the last five years, we, as a couple, we're intentional about it. If we're in a friendship with people and they're doing something that we feel is against us, or whether it be unethical or just flat out, we're hearing things, we don't call another person and talk about them. We call them, don't we? So I think, and I'm very intentional if I care about the person to say, hey girl, what's going on? Or why are we having a problem? Let's talk about it. But what I think is confusing in the world and part of what we talk about in our book is 
Why do people not want to do that? This is not my driving. This is this road, by the way. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not running over curbs or anything. This is just a bad road. Um, but why, do you have any thoughts on this, Shay? Why do people not want to like say, let's figure this out and work this out. And then if you do talk about it, why can't they move forward and move past it? If you have the confrontation. Because I find too, sometimes when you address it with people, they don't ever want to talk again. It's like they don't like that you had a conflict. Well, so. And that's just. Um, they weren't I just your friend I, anyway. I just always feel like if 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 a friend can't handle what you're saying to them, if you if they hurt your feelings or you felt like they did something wrong and they remove themselves from your life, well, I mean, I mean, I just think, well, maybe they shouldn't be in your life. Maybe that's just God's not, way of removing maybe that's off. just yeah. not a, a friend that should, should be around, Yeah. you know, and I have no issues, which it's not like I have conflict with friends. <laughs> like I don't have conflict with people. I mean, I just don't. But I don't have any issues with a friend calling me up and saying that I did something or they're upset or, or whatever because there might be times that I'm oblivious <laughs> to I did something. Yeah, always oblivious. I did something wrong. He's like, what? You know. I was I was abrupt. I was rude. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I didn't even know. <laughs> you know. I'm like, baby. And He's so, sweet. He used to tell me when we first got married, he said, you think you're a tone reader. I said, I am a tone reader. It's not the words that are coming out of your mouth. It's the way you're saying the words yeah. that are received in the wrong way. I'm still working on that. <laughs> oh, tone is everything. <laughs> your tone and your, your body language. Yeah. So just thinking about... Healthy confrontation, healthy conflict, it's necessary. It's not go around jumping on everyone, but it is, what do you want me to do? Speed up, baby. It's, well, you're on the video going, like <laughs> you're not being filmed. <laughs> oh, y'all, this is real. This is real life. I mean, we have a line of cars so, behind us. It, I'm in a construction. So, this is real. This is re this is the real deal. So, here's the thing: <laughs> is confrontation is not going around jumping on people, but it is being able to say, "Let's talk about what the problem is. Let's work through it." Then I think being a healthy individual, you're able to have those hard conversations with people, and then put it behind you, and it's over. I can't tell you how many people that I work with and lead that we have had to have hard conversations. And well, hold on, I want to and then move you. forward. But from here's them. what, here's what, and this is why sometimes conflict snows snowballs into like worse things because this is happening in our relationship. And just you know, just think about things. You're mad at me. And you, you voice what you're upset about in a healthy way. And I don't like what you're saying. And I respond in an unhealthy way. Well, then that just makes you mad. And then we're into an argument. Right. And it just and snowballs I, into, I go into so way worse. Unhealthy conflict. Way worse. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I guess some maybe healthy advice. If you know you're going into a conflict and the person that you're... you're be okay. Be okay if they don't respond how you think how they should respond. Right. Don't have an expectation of how they should respond. Which that's a vlog for expectation is a whole vlog we need to do. But you know what I'm saying is, yes. is like you have really have to think, okay, I'm going to go in this conflict... Mm -hmm. 
this issue that I have, I'm gonna tell this person, they're gonna apologize and it's gonna be over. Well, just know that that sometimes, might not happen. Yeah, and I think that's where I struggle sometimes is I wanna work through things. Right then, it's right over. Right then, it's over. And I do well when, to me, that's a healthy person when you can talk it out and it's over. Yeah. And we're not going to talk about it again. And I'm not talking to my friend about it. Nobody even knows it happens because it's over. Which I mean, I just, you know, and. But I know most we're people. We're imperfect people. We are. And there have been times I have very much mishandled conflicts. But I think. I just think about us, you know, in, in the context of us and just mishandling our conflict. And we I mishandle just don't... our conflict amongst each other worse than. Well, I'm great at handling. What's well, just like I'm I don't good like at handling conflict with. I mean, friends. just be real. I just sometimes whoops, it likes to go on me. It's like I don't like what you're saying. I don't. I'm like I don't agree with you, and you just tick me off. Can I say this? You know, when you react that way, and I'm in a good mind space. What and that's this isn't often, but the few times that you've reacted in a very negative way when I'm trying to talk to you. And I am in a good place. Ladies, what I do, or men, maybe you're the one that initiates the conflict because you want a problem resolved. I go into prayer over him. I really do. And I just start praying that God's going to soften you your heart <laughs> and you're going to hear that I'm coming from a place of love and not a place of judgment or control that I'm just, I'm wanting our life to be the best it possibly can. And that's why I'm initiating the conflict. So that I'm praying and praying and praying and praying over you when I feel like I'm in a good place. Now this isn't, sometimes he reacts in a crazy way and I react in a crazy, crazy. way. So, well, we have unhealthy conflicts at times. Yeah. But, and sometimes you come to me and I don't react in a good way. I'm real, real easy to get along with. <laughs> you don't come to me that much. I'm trying to think when you've come to me. Um, I don't. Uh, you do come to me, but I here's the think. reason it's not a big deal. And I'm not trying to act like I'm this perfect over here. But the reason a lot of times when you say, I don't like that you said that, I, what, I'm like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Just like I said something last night in a joking way. Mm -hmm. I was apologizing and I genuinely meant I was sorry. I'm like, I don't want to talk about this anymore because I really <laughs> am sorry. <laughs> I don't want to talk about so. it anymore. Uh, what if I did? Because here's the thing. <laughs> uh -huh. Here, I would. T I'll still talk about it if you want to. Oh, I but see. the thing was, is I'm genuinely sorry, and I won't do it again. It will never happen again. Do you see what I'm saying? But it, okay, and and this. So here's the deal, and that's and that's all good. Because and I just want to, because I'm learning through this too, is that, you know, once you say something, once you put your, put the words out there, you can't take those back. That's right. That's right. You can't and take you know those what? words I back. I was in the wrong. Like, no, I feel bad that I said what I said. It's like, fine. I do. You were just kidding. I, I know, know, but that no was deal. rude. Like, it's I fine. genuinely am sorry. And this it's is fine. the thing about me. But what I'm just you saying is. You won't ever have that problem again because I will never do it again. Here's where I have the issue saying. with the I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, let's say I'm like, I am so sorry. Let's not talk about this. I will never do that again. Like, I was wrong, and I say I'm wrong. It's over. Let's not talk about it. Let's just let it go. Okay? Yeah. And then if, what if next week I do the same thing again? Yeah. Then do you believe me that I'm sorry? No. That's where I think conflicts get bigger and greater is when behavior remains, but the person is apologizing. Then that's when the problem's deeper. Well, See? yeah, and I completely agree. And that's but what when it I was, can't just be, oh, I'm sorry, get over it, saying, let's not talk about it. You know, because I like to, I mean, 
I like to joke around and mess around and give people a hard time. But you have joked around before and hurt my feelings. Yeah, yes. I mean, yes. he told me I have old knees. That was, <laughs> I did not. And I've never forgotten it. That is not thing. true. That I is know, a lie. I know she's lying. C6 fam, she's lying. <laughs> I never said she had old knees. What I was, I, I don't want to get into this. We're not going to, we'll move. We might talk about this later, but I never said she had old knees. That is a lie. So. A lie, a lie, a lie. So anyways. But, but what did, I was saying is, was what joke, I was saying and is, it did hurt my when you are fighting, and this is what <laughs> I try to be, I, I've really, I think I'm really more conscious, conscious of this, conscientious, I guess. Mm -hmm of when we're fighting and we're in a toxic fight, trying not to say things that I'll regret. I'm not saying that I haven't. And I'm saying that's what you, and I think that's how you grow as and a person. And when you're in, and and you're got, in conflict, better, but I still suck at it, in conflict I'm, is, you know, and that's just what I want to say. Words, people, but yeah. you can't take back words. That's right. I mean, you just, you just can't. And you might be sorry for what you say. And that's a, I mean, sometimes you're in, the heat of the moment and you say mm -hmm. things that you really don't mean and that's right. obviously you can forgive them but uh, you know just think about that just think about when you're having conflict try to think don't say things that you really don't mean and it's weird <laughs> because if I have a conflict with someone I work with or a friend I never say hurtful or ugly things to them that I can't take back. Never might be a strong word, but I don't find Yeah, we have a lot of conversations. Cause, I don't. Because I would be like, I'd tell that, blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And I don't do that. <laughs> no. But then for some reason, where we're concerned, if we're in a heated, toxic argument, I do say things that I would never say to another person. Why do you do that? I don't know. That's so... God, God needs to help me. I need more prayer. That's so terrible. It is. So I want to be better at that and having help. That's not healthy conflict. So it's like I've, I've got to be better constantly at applying how I deal with conflict in work and friendships. And most of the time the kids, sometimes I can have unhealthy conflict with the kids. Um, I'm, I'm very conscientious and not, about not having an unhealthy conflict with my children, but there have been times I have. Um, but applying that to our relationship, because you're the person I love more than any other human being on this earth. So why would I be ugly to you and be nicer to extended friends or people I work with and never say something ugly to them? So that's just wrong, see? So these are all things you have to think about and talk through, and these are things we're working on. We're we fail all the time is the thing, but we're trying to get better and we are better. I mean, 13 years into this, we're 5 million times better than we once were. I hope, I hope we are. You don't think we are? No, I'm saying I hope we are. So it's just for us, our channel, and we want you to subscribe, don't forget, is, a, and share us, please share this video. Lots make com make lots comments. Of, lots of people need this. Make comments. Is we're, we're always thinking and talking, and Shay and I are good about communicating. When something is not good in our relationship, we're talking about it. We're dealing with it. I'm not calling my mama or calling my sister or my daughter and griping about him and what he's not doing and what I'm mad about, I'm telling him and I'm not going around being witchy towards him because I don't like it. We sit down and have a true conversation when things aren't going good. Don't you think? Absolutely. Because I think that's where unhealthy conflict occurs. I think posting on social media, trying to give underlying meanings to other people, like it's just flat wrong. If you have an issue with someone, I just want to say this. If you have an issue with someone, talk to their face. Don't tell everybody on Facebook. Don't put it these, oh, these little quotes and you're trying to get some message. Call them. Say, hey, girl. 
you did this and it's upsetting me. If it is upsetting you enough to post about it, you should call them. Talk to them. I promise you if it's upsetting me enough to talk about it to anybody else, I'm going to talk to you about it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I just think the world would be a much better place if people dealt with conflicts face-to-face, person-to-person, not stirring up gossip, not stirring up strife, not posting, but talking to the person. That's that's my two cents. But I, That's good two cents, and now I'm going to give, I guess, the last two cents. Is okay. Don't go into a conflict Mad. angry. Yeah. With anger inside of you because it's not going to turn out too good. Like, if you're, like, angry, like, you're not... The person on the other end is not going to listen to you. So, it's kind of pointless. You're wasting your breath. If you're... I mean, I understand being angry, but don't approach them angry. You you can't approach conflict from a place of anger or it's going to go south real fast. Yeah. I don't care who you are or if you're not coming from a place of love and I value the friendship, I value the relationship. This is what I think. If you are upset enough that you're calling a girlfriend about it or somebody else about it or posting about it, then you care enough about what's going on to address what's going on directly with the person and talk to them from a loving heart. And I think one of the reasons I'm able to have healthy conflicts and I'm able to move forward, I don't dwell on conflicts because I'm not offended. I'm hard to offend. I mean, I have been told so many rude things. I I cannot even tell you. Um, she could vouch for me <laughs> and not getting offended. Like I kind of, I really kind of laugh about it some of the time. Uh, but I don't want to hurt anyone ever, and so I'm going to listen and I want to correct behavior and I want to talk to people. But I can have it and move forward from it because I'm not living in offense. The bottom line is, conflict is necessary. Feelings get hurt. It's also, I think you've got to be very intentional with being loving with conflict. And then also being a person that can have the conflict and move forward. And that's where most people can't. Most people can't. Most people cannot have a conflict with someone they're not married to or have to be in relationship with and not stay in relationship with them. It is a select few that can, unfortunately. I can. So. But be that person. Conflict is healthy. You're going to have conflict. So if you're going to have conflict with someone, really think, hold on. You can't just go around having conflict with no. all these people all the time. Make sure it's Make sure an important that conflict. Important conflict. Make yes. sure that the person you're having conflict, it's worth having the conflict with. That you, you care. Stay in you care about the relationship. Yeah. Or I guess, I mean, I guess if you don't. I'm not. <laughs> if I don't, this is how I. I know feel. you're good. You don't go have conflict if with somebody I you don't. Don't care to be in a relationship. What is the point in having a conflict with them? Right. I don't need to put myself because conflict is emotional. And so what would you say a to a downer? So I'm not going to go have that conflict. So, I don't want it to grate on my spirit. I know. So what do you say to people? This this is good. Yeah. I want to see how. What do you say to people that like say, "Well, I'm hurt and I'm upset and I don't really care about the relationship, but I have to get it off my chest." Like, it's weighing on me what this person did to me. I don't like this person anymore. I don't care about this person anymore. But I'm going to let them know (laughs) how I feel. What they did to me was wrong. And I just got to get it off my chest. (laughs) Like, what do you say to someone like that? I hear that a lot. Not about me, but about other people. But here, I want you to answer. But here, I want people watching this video. I want you to answer. I want you you to answer. answer. I want you to answer. I can't talk. I want you to answer if you're one of those people that you feel like if you've been something's been wrong, you've been wrong. I know, but I mean, just comment on how 
you know, what is it that was inside of you that you just had to get off your chest? Did you feel better? I guess well, that's my question. It's people Did want you to feel dance. better when you got whatever it is off your chest? Well, why? Why would that make you feel better? I'm, that's you're not them. I'm know. saying, I, I'm just, did it make you feel better, or do you were you still hurt are you and asking upset? Me this question? I'm asking you this okay. question too, but I'm saying to them, I want them to comment if they're, you know. I don't like negativity on here, but well, we live in. Ne- so I hope y'all don't comment negative. Oh, but it's, here's if the you thing. do, it's okay. Okay, here's the thing. This is this is what I have I'm found. I'm sorry. I've I've worked with thousands of women over the last 20 years. And I have literally been on a phone with someone screaming cuss words at me for 30 minutes or more with it on speaker, haven't I? Yeah. Am I doing it back? I'm asking you. No. 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 So, here's what I have found about these thoughts is when I go sorry y'all I'm driving this duly when I go to a negative place or I let a confrontation bring the worst out in me per se I don't feel good I don't like that Person. That's not who I am. So, if someone is doing bad things to me, whether it be behind the scenes or whatever, and it's not a person that I value the relationship with, why I don't, the closure for me is me knowing I'm in control that I'm not talking to them anymore. I'm in control that I don't have to Tell put myself the the in the negative place and I don't need to I don't need to tell them because I don't want to be around them for them to fix it so why have the conflict and get me feeling upset let them say ugly mean things to me because that's what they're going to do and allow that to happen when I can just know this isn't a person I want to be in relationship with give it to God I'm going to pray for them I'm, I am. I mean, I, I do believe in praying for your enemies. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray they don't hurt other people. I'm going to pray for what the situation is. But I'm not going to call them and say, I'm removing you. I'm praying for you. I just know in my own spirit that's what I'm going to do. And that's closure enough. That's good. The closure comes from me forgiving them, not because they deserve forgiveness, not because I told them I forgave them, because I know in my mind and heart, am I supposed to stop for this? Okay. Yes. Fire truck. I know in my mind and heart, I'm at peace with somebody being mean or ugly, not because they deserve my forgiveness, but because I want to have peace in my own life and me carrying around, they did this and I can't believe they treated me this way or they did this to me and they're so awful. Y'all, there's a lot of awful people, but there's a lot of great people too. But if I sit around carrying that, I'm carrying the burden and I, I don't need to vent. I don't need to have the conflict. This is just me personally. Yeah. It, it gives me peace. I'll just tell God all about it and say, God, work on them, work on their soul, work on their heart. God, I pray blessings over them because I pray they won't do this to somebody else because it's not very nice. That's, that's is good. that an answer to your yeah, question? That's good. That's I don't good feel do the it. need. It's a good way to do it. To have a conflict with somebody I don't want in my life. Yeah, I got you. That's, that's me. That's good. So, y'all subscribe. We hope this was something y'all wanted to know about. Something that can help you in your marriage, in your relationships. And we want to encourage you, don't go around fixing everybody. Don't go around fighting with everybody. But when you need to have a conflict, have it. If it's worth posting about, it's worth talking about, it's worth dealing with the person directly and not doing those things. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you for uh, getting on our channel. Thanks for watching this video. Again, don't forget. No, 
don't forget to subscribe. And I'm follow, do hey, follow us on social media. I want to uh, publicly fa say I'm Facebook. sorry. Okay, well that's good. You're sorry. Uh, Kimberly Shea Copeland on Facebook, Instagram, funny. Real Life with the Copelands, yeah. uh, which you can follow our little Shug, Memphis, Memphis. The, the Shug, Shug is, on is on Instagram. He has his own Instagram, so follow him. Um, he has he posts a couple times a day. It's it's hilarious. But anyways, um, but he has uh, all these ideas of um, videos he wants to do. He wants his own YouTube channel. Yeah, him, <laughs> him and Matt. But anyways. <laughs> Uh, we appreciate you watching. Make sure to subscribe, tell your friends, make comments, likes, all, all of it. Yeah, again, I hope you enjoy. Thank y'all. Peace.